Hey everyone, Epilepsy here bringing you the newest series of, to my YouTube, Animal Crossing New Leaf. Now, this is going to be a very interactive series where I'm going to be talking to my viewers. I'm going to be asking you guys for suggestions and growing as a community through this small community that, that we're going to be building together. So let's start this new file, shall we? Now, Animal Crossing is a very fun game. It's a very fun interactive simulation game. And now we're on a train and some cat is awkwardly walking towards me. Please do not talk to me. Oh, gosh. Oh, excuse me. I have a quick question for you. Oh, Rover. It's now 12.02 p.m. August 14th, 2015, right? Last time I checked, it was. Oh, I was right. Oh, good. This watch of mine gets thrown off really easily sometimes. I'm just gonna plop down in the seat across from you, if you don't mind, of course. I kind of don't want you here, but okay, in just, just invade my personal space, that's fine. <laughs> okay, by the way, hold it. Can I ask your name? Now, a lot of you may or may not know, my name is Zach. So, we are going to put that. Z-A-C-H. A lot of you know me as Epilepsy, though. I would put Epilepsy, but I think Zach would be more personal. Oh, Zach. Well, that's a fantastically great name. Cool, right? Yeah, you seem like a pretty cool guy to me. Thank you. It's the second person to think I'm cool this week. The first one was my mom. Well, I guess that's all. So, tell me, where are you headed today? Now, I did take suggestions to names of towns, and, well, I got Townsville, which won't fit. I got Citiesville, which won't fit. But I did get a suggestion from someone on my Facebook. A Facebook friend of mine put Pallet. As in Pallet Town. The town of Pallet from Pokemon. Uh-huh. We're going to Pallet Town. Hmm, Pallet. Yeah, okay. I don't think I've heard of it. I wonder where it is. It's in Kanto. <laughs> Alright, map, map, map. Let's take a look along this, this train line. Ah, uh, maybe if this is the one right here. Now, I'm going to be showing all the maps that they have. That way, we can actually uh, see what the best town is. I actually am not really sure if I want this town, but let's go to the next one and see what the next one looks like. Hmm, let's see, maybe it's this one instead. Oops, sorry, I just dropped something. Um, this one's actually not bad either. I actually do really um, like how everything is kind of in that corner, except for the town hall. Um, it's very, uh, very nice, and I actually have somewhat of an idea where I could put my house in this one, but we're gonna check the other ones to see if there's any better ones out there for me. Um, ooh, this one's very nice. The town hall and the, uh, the plaza is in a very, uh, isolated location, and all the houses are pretty much along that whole edge, but we'll see. Oh, wrong again. Ah, I think I've definitely got it now. I like this. Now, I know what you're all probably going to think. Why does he like this? I like it because there's a private island that I can just get for myself. And, I don't know. I just feel like it's going to be a lot of fun to have this island. Um, I'm not sure if there's one more after this. But, um, I think we're just going to actually choose this one. I like it a lot. I see, that's where Pallet is. So, do you go to Pallet very often? I don't really remember the last time I really been to Pallet. Um, what? Really? Um, what are you going there for? I don't know. I really don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going here. Because I'm starting a new Animal Crossing, uh, Crossing series. Um, what if I suddenly felt like maybe settling down in Pallet, man? Yeah, I think I will. I'll settle down. Wow, that's right. You've already made up your mind. I knew there was some sort of connection. Mainly because Pallet's been throughout my life. Um... I get giddy imagine it. Zach, I'm positive you'll find something great in Palette. I hope so. I'm hoping to find something amazing in Palette. This is going to be a lot of fun. Now arriving in Palette, Palette Station. Oh, hey, looks like we're about to arrive in Palette. Thanks for chatting with me. It's been a long time since I enjoyed the train ride this much. Come to think of it, I've been riding the rails an awful lot li again lately. Haven't done it this much traveling since by train since 2002 or so. <coughs> Animal Crossing, <coughs> the original. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me, guys. It's got a cough. Man, that's weird. Okay, good luck, Zach. Bye-bye. Bye, Rover. Eh, you know, 
me having actually social anxiety and just have anxiety in general, I would not be able to handle someone walking up to me in a train. But if there's a cat named Rover that came up to me in a train, I would handle it just fine. And we have a green roof. Um, town hall and the train stations, there's different um, color roofs and uh, I think doors they, they get. Um, for town hall at least. I don't think there's a door for this. This stop is Pallet. Everyone for Pallet, exit here. Eek eek! I love the monkey. What is his name? I forget his name. Oops, <laughs> I didn't read it. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got, ooh! <gasps> Matilda, look! I finally got, look! He finally arrived! Cole, I bet that's the guy! And Savannah, standing around is getting awkward. Someone say something. <laughs> I laughed just because he said that. It's just, oh my god, I love her. Okay, everyone, here we go. Ready and welcome! Wow, I, I somehow get this feeling of I'm welcome here. Mayor, we're so happy you're finally here. Um, I think you're mistaken. I'm not the mayor. Um, oh, you're such a kidder. Well, a sense of humor is an important trait for an elected official to have. You said you would arrive on the train, and here you are. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't say that. <laughs> you can't fool me. No one else got off the train. You're a funny one, aren't you, Teehee? Hey, wait. Yeah, I am funny. I try to be. Well, let's continue the discussion at Town Hall, shall we? Here's a map of Pallet for your reference, Mayor Zack. Now, I really do enjoy this. Um, the Town Hall is going to be right, um, uh, it's a little bit south to the the right of me. Um, and I really do like the little uh, island I'm going to be building my house on. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. But, I'm going to go talk to some of these residents. Um, we got Matilda. Oh, you're the new Maya. Hmm, you're a little different from the rest of us. Because no fur, no feathers, no tail? Good, we need someone like you. Yes, you'll have new ideas. I can't wait to see what you do, Mayor. Yeah, I like her. And now we're gonna go to Savannah, who looks pretty cool. We got a zebra. Welcome to Pallet. Ever since I heard we're getting a new mayor, I've been so excited. I can't wait to see how Pallet grows under your leadership. Once you're done at the town hall, let's meet up again. Okay, let's. I like I like having a, the zebra. Um, she's very interesting. And Cole the rabbit. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> it's the new mayor. Welcome to Pallet. You swept into town like a movie star, and I just know you're going to turn Pallet into an amazing place. I hope you'll be pals, so don't mind if I call you Zack instead of Mayor, right? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you have a weird looking head. Oh my. But it's cool. I like him. And we're gonna go visit the other ones as soon as we're done with my, uh, mayoral duties, I guess we would say. Um, so let's, uh, Let's see what they uh, want me to do as mayor. I like the green for the town hall. It looks very nice, very fitting. Um, mayor, this town hall will be your, your base of operations. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention, I'm on staff here too. I'm Isabel, your secretary, and I'm here to help you in any way I can. But I may be frank, I was supposed to be, uh, I'm surprised to see someone as young as you step off the train. I mean, our former mayor held the possession for many, many years and was quite set in his ways. But youth is a breath of fresh air, and exactly a new image our town needs. You're perfect for the job. All right, of course, we need you to get started right on your way, Mayor. Therefore, first we must complete your resident registration. Uh, my name is Zach. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have your name. And next. Oh, this is bad. I can't believe I completely forgot something so vitally important. In order to register as a town resident, you need to. We need your address for the form. Do you have a place to live yet? Well, this is a problem. I don't have a t I don't have a house. We should have you decide where you're going to live before you proceed. Oh, here I come all the way to town hall for nothing. I pledge like oh, she beats herself up. It's so sad. Isabel, you're like the most amazing, adorable thing ever. Don't beat yourself up. So we're gonna be going to town uh Main Street, which is gonna be right north of here, right by the train station. And we're going to be seeing the guy that pretty much ruins your whole experience in Animal Crossing. Nook. Tom Nook. The raccoon that wants all the money. So we're going to actually go visit Tom Nook now. And we're going to be able to hopefully um, get this town all started and stuff and things and stuff. And oh, look, a bug. Uh, nope, don't get distracted. Got to go up. 
So, seeing that I have Savannah, Matilda, and Cole, I wonder who else I have. Um, I am actually a really big fan of Savannah right now. Um, just <laughs> because she's like, oh gosh, someone say something. Um, but that's a lot of fun. So we're gonna actually, uh, let's see Tom Nook right now. And let's get this, okay, new mayor, Isabel. On behalf of Palette Chamber of Commerce, welcome. So Zach, here today, because you want a house and all that good stuff. Very good, very good, I can build one. So, can you decide where you want to live? Kind of. I kind of have an idea where I want to live. So this won't take very long. Just take me where you want to build your new home. Now, like I said, I really did enjoy the island idea. So I'm going to go down... Oh, gosh. Please wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm... Oh, my goodness. He's so adorable. <laughs> he's got his big belly and he's got his yellow sweater on. And yeah, and he can keep up with me now. Ooh. A rare butterfly. Someone's house. Okay, so we're on the island right now. Now, I could... Huh, do I want to go... Oh, pond skater. I need, to, I need a... Uh... Oh, we have pears! And there's a rare pear! Okay. <laughs> I gotta stop getting so distracted. Okay, I gotta find a good place to go. Now, do I want to be on the cliff and watch down um, the beach? That's actually part of... That's a beach I cannot go to. I have a really long beach over there, and this is a short beach over here. That's very interesting. But, uh, I think I might build it right here. Um, that way, I'm kind of isolated. I, I could get a view. I think, I think I'll do it here. Um, yeah, let's do it here, Tom Nook. Looks good! Plenty of space, there's a river nearby, and I'm actually by the ocean. Hold a moment, let's think of something. There we go. Uh, I don't like the way that tree is, but I can always cut that down later. It's perfectly fine. Okay, it's decided then. It'll take a little bit to build your house, so for today, let's reserve your space for you. There we go. Yes, yes, wonderful. And we got a fence. And that's the space. It's officially yours. Um, including the cost of land, materials, building, costs, and etc. Uh, well, the calculation is complicated, so I can't come up with it just now. So I'll tell you a total later. Anyways, I'm sure you're very busy since you've just moved here. Once you've taken care of things, stop by my store again and get the bill. Ah, hmm? uh, but I suppose you still need a place to rest your head, right? Give you money. And they got a tent! Yes! A new camping. Awesome. I like camping. Um, I'll let you borrow this tent so you have somewhere to sleep. Well, I've also put up a mailbox so you can even start receiving mail. It's a little shabby looking, right? Uh, though. I bet you rarely see a tent with a mailbox, right? Ho 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 ho! Well, I'll be returning to my shop, so that's part ways here. Oh, that's part ways here. Zach, you need to head back to Town Hall, hmm? Now, that you know where you'll be living, you have to get registered as a resident, so talk to Isabel. In the meantime, I'll work out the numbers, come by my shop again later. Thanks for the business! I do appreciate it. Yes, yes. Okay. So, now we have to go to the town hall, talk to Isabel, and she's going to be giving us the TPC, I think that's what she said, um, town pass card where we get registered and all that good stuff. Um, and this essentially starts the multiplayer and, well, the entire game in general. Um, but you need that to actually be going to people's villages and sending people to your village. Did you find the perfect spot to call home? Yeah. I did. Wonderful! Happy to hear that. Your temporary housing, right? I do hope your house is completed soon. Living in a tent can be very tiring. Now, about your registration. I've completed as much as I can, but there's one thing I need to know. When's your birthday? My birthday is actually the second month and the third day of that month. So February 3rd. That's your birthday. Yup. Thank you very much. Please take this. And now I got my card. Now, this is going to be the part where it's going to be very interactive. This is our very own town pass card. Um, the ID proves that you live in Palette. We call it TPC for short. Your TPC is always kept up to date with your latest profile information. Um, so I'll be able to, um, after I get my picture taken and all this stuff, I'll be able to... Okay, actually, hold on. That place with the X is the event plaza. We hold special events there every now and then. So we are going to be going to the plaza. Um, we'd like for you to plant a tree in the square so it can be 
become a great symbol for our town. I'll lead you the way. Follow me. Okay, we're just going to go take care of the tree right now. So let's do that. And we'll actually be able to see... Oh my... Hmm. I got the elephant and a pink squirrel. Hmm. Interesting. So, please take this sapling. Okay, Zach. Now plant the sapling by pressing A. Put your heart into it. Yes! Let's do this. And now everyone's going to be super, super, super happy. Yay! On August 14, 2015, Zach became the mayor of Palette. Yay! <laughs> mayor Zach, congratulations! I hope this tree grows just as strong and lively as Palette. All of us are looking forward to the changes you'll make to our beloved town. I'm excited. <laughs> Well then, the tree has been planted, so please relax for the rest of the day, Mayor. I have other tasks to attend to, so I'll head back to the town hall. Please spend the rest of the day as you like. Look around and greet your new neighbors. And if there's something you don't understand or about Palette or just want to know blah blah blah, you, I can give you helpful advice at the town hall feel free. Okay. So, we are going to be actually introducing ourselves to um, a few of the residents right now. Um, mainly the the pink squirrel, which I have no idea what her name is, and the elephant. So, okay, we just found out how to save. So, where are they? Um, hmm. But actually, let's hop into something else real quick. Um, I'm gonna try to be as interactive with you guys as possible. I think it's gonna be not to, uh, not today. Not this fr uh, for Friday, but hopefully next Friday I will start um, visiting or inviting people to my town. Um, so we have a week for me to get developed, and I'll end up going to visit other people's towns, um, seeing how you guys do, and you guys can come to my town whenever I... Uh, I'll tweet about it usually the Thursday before or something like that, or maybe the Wednesday before, I'll tweet that I'm looking for people to uh, invite me to the town, or come into my town, and just hang out for a bit. But, let's um, let's quickly go look for these houses. Um, I'm a little confused. Okay, there's one. This might be the elephant's house. Let's see. This is a nice house. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see who it is. We are looking at... Ooh, Axel! Oh, Mayor! I'm Axel! We're gonna be big fans for, of each other. So, that tree you planted? <laughs> when I saw you performing that ceremony, I had a thought. I thought, if this bro's in charge, Pal is in good hands. We're counting on you, Zach. Make this town as strong as around. Huh, at least someone has faith in me. I like his room. Very, uh... He's like a kid. He's just playing around. He's got all his stuff. Just wants to have fun. And that's okay. So, let's also go find the other house. It has to be down here. Uh, it's not that. Here we go. Let's see whose house this is. Um. um I'm a little excited. I, I kind of want to know who this is. And you are... Peanut! Aw, hi there, Mr. Mayor. It's me, Peanut. You look so cool planting that tree today. It was obvious to everyone in Event Plaza that you're going to be a very dependable town leader. With your help, we can really put Pallet on the map as a cool place to live, slacker. Oh, she has the game, uh, GameCube, which is awesome. Um, I, I still have my GameCube in my house. Um, but now we got, uh, we know the residents. There's only five. But you get residents every day, um, until I think maximum is nine residents, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. But we should probably go to the town hall? No, she's done with me. So let's go see Tom Nook, and let's see what the damage is going to be. Um, it's a lot of money. He's known for that. He's, it's probably going to be way more than it should be. But let's go in, let's quickly see how much money I owe this guy, and then we can actually start um, introducing to the other main characters. Oh, Zach, yes, welcome. Finished everything. Of course, I've completed running the numbers. Let's discuss the cost. You know, we can't build a house unless you have all necessary costs covered. Hmm. So the down payment is nothing more than a paltry 10,000 bells, which is actually not a lot. So I, I can do that, but I can't afford it right now. 
Um, no, that's fine. You're fine. No need to worry. You're giving me a single bell at this point in time. You're. I'm quite a generous raccoon, and my heart is about the size of a four-bedroom, two-bath duplex. Oh my goodness. Uh, that being said, okay, he's gonna. So pretty much, what I have to do is collect seashells, fruits, and stuff like that, and sell, and insects and fish. So. What I'm going to see is if I can get my hands on a shovel. If I can get my hands on a shovel, I can pay him instantly. But to do that, I need to um well, oh, wrong way. We don't we don't need to go to the museum just yet. But to do that, I need to actually collect some bells first. So the best way to collect some bells is like he said, seashells and um fruit. So, I'm just gonna go to the beach over here, and I'm gonna just start picking up seashells, because if I can just get the basic stuff for, um, like, if I can get at least 500 bells, and there is a shovel, I will be able to pay off Tom Nook very, very shortly. So, I'm just gonna pick up some seashells, um, and get this all situated. So, I will be right back, guys, as soon as I'm done with seashell picking. Okay, so I just cleared the beach, um, and we're going to head up to the next location to start off any town. It is this nice pink store. Now, this is retail. Um, you go in, and you can sell seashells, fruits, stuff, and oh, oh my goodness, it's Timmy. Mrs. Reese, ma'am, I have something I'd like to sell. Oh, hello, Timmy. What did you bring for me today? I have a tape deck. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you take it off your hands for 175 bells, or you could set it on your own place and it'll, and put it in the back for somebody else to buy. So, essentially what she does is you can sell um, fruits and vegetables and other things directly to her and get um, the bells necessary from the, her, or you can put up stuff and put your own price on it. Um, and that way, other villagers that come into the shop will buy your stuff. Um, it's kind of like the flea market um, in the older games, but it's more, it's every, it's gonna be every day. And you could actually get items from other people's uh, houses here. So, and out front, they do have uh, sales or stuff, and you can sell things for higher prices on those days. Usually it's rocks and stuff. So, but we're gonna sell seashells right now. Um, that way, we can see how much bells we get. Everything, I'll start crunching the numbers. 1,800 bells. That is not bad at all. So, now we have 1,870 bells. Now, we're gonna go to the next place, and we're gonna see if they have a shovel. A shovel, a fishing pole, or a bug net are the three main items to start off any uh, Animal Crossing game. And we're actually going to be able to meet the other nook. There's three nooks, and we're actually going to go to the second shop. Um, which is called, I think, Nookling Junction. Yes, Nookling uh, Junction. And we are going to actually meet, I think it's Tommy. I think Timmy was the last one, and this might be Tommy, or is it the other way around? But actually, we got the bug net and the shovel. So Tommy, what? This could be a first time in a humble establishment. Ooh, already met my older brother Timmy. I hope you treat both of us kindly. Please do. Our store sells a variety of furniture and useful goods for daily living. As you can see, it's rather a teeny tiny shop, but please relax and enjoy shopping. Take your time. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy the shovel. Um... That way, we can easily get the money, and he's going to try to tell me, I already know how to work the shovel. It's pretty simple. And we're also going to buy the, the bug net. That way, we can start catching bugs um, as soon as possible as well. Um, and we'll be taking them to the museum so you can sell them as well. Um, but we, uh, as you can see, there's only two items to buy. Um, a wallpaper, uh, regular paper, and a sparkler, which sometimes is a fortune cookie, um, but you'll be able to grow out your um, shop with the more you pay for it. But, okay, so we're going to go and we're going to try to get the money as quickly as possible. Now, 
I said the shovel is the best way to get money because there is a rock. There's two rocks in every village that allow you to get a decent amount of money. Nope, not this rock. Um, there's the money rock, which gives you an X amount of bells depending on how well you are hitting the shovel against the rock. Um, and there's this rock right here, which is the false rock, which um, has a gem inside of it. And you can sell the gem for money, or you can save it, and I believe you can use it to paint when you uh, get retail further up. But um, we're going to just continue looking for this other rock. We're on a crazy adventure right now. Adventure to get the rock. Okay, here's another rock. Now, just put that there, and... Nope, not this rock. Also, another thing that can happen in rocks is, um, I believe centipedes show up in rocks and pill bugs. So, using um, a shovel will help you get centipedes and pill bugs to help complete your um, museum that way. So, we've got another rock here. Oh, wrong, wrong way. So, nope, not the rock. But, uh, I, I gotta remind me to pick that pair. But yeah, um, to get that, you need to, uh, have the rocks to get the centipede and pill bug. Um, and you hit it with a shovel, it'll pop out, and you just catch them with your bug hat. Um, but, let's see, let's see, let's see. Kinda looking for... Hi, Matilda. I'm just looking for rocks in their town. I'll talk to you tomorrow or something. Here's another rock. A lot of the rocks are actually connected to trees, in a way, which I like. Oh, not this rock either. How many rocks do I have? Oh, rock up here. Oh, this might be it. This is actually a really good place for a rock. So. And this is the money rock, guys. Where we, as you can see, you get bells from the rock. And depending on how well you hit the rock, I just hit it for the maximum amount. We now got... There's 8,000... That's 4,000, so I'm at 12,000 bells. I can already pay Tom Nook, which is amazing. We are only, like, shortly into our first day, and we are actually able to pay Tom Nook full amount. Because um, we now have 15,000... 16,100 bells from just that rock. So we're going to actually go pay Tom Nook another visit and pay him for our down payment. That way... We get everything situated, and then we will go see um, Isabel, um, go stop inside our house, and I believe we can call that a day. Um, there's not really much to do on your first day. Um, your villagers are just going to let you get established um, into your house, and you got to just pay off your house, which I am actually able to do. Um, so we got the 10,000 bells easily, and we have 16,000 bells just extra. Or 6,000 bells extra, almost 7,000. So that's awesome. Um, we can choose the roof of. I'm gonna choose um, green for now. Um, I'm going to eventually buy the purple. I believe. Purple or black. So then when we get a house, we can actually update the interior and the exterior. But now that that's completely paid off and we are no longer in debt. We are happy! Yay! Woo! I paid the down payment. I'll be able to move into my home tomorrow. So, now we're just going to take one more stop at, and go see Isabel. I believe she, there might be one more thing. I don't think so. We might actually be done um, with Isabel, but I need to go to Town Hall anyway. I want you guys to see this. We have the flag, and we have the town tomb. What I want you guys to do is... Can you guys, if you want, you guys can submit a, an, uh, an idea for the town flag or the town tune. Um, you guys can go to my Twitter. The link should be down below. And you guys can tweet um, designs for a town flag and um, ideas for town tunes. Um, and I will pick one winner, and that will be my flag and my town tune. So let's go in and see what Isabel needs. If she needs anything. I don't think she does. I think we're pretty much done with Isabel. Um, oh, Mayor Zach, is everything alright? If you're troubled... Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. 
So we're actually just gonna go into our house and call it a day, I believe. Um, I don't think we really have anything else to do. Um, I may just do some things off camera, but hey, um, you guys won't be missing too much. Um, tomorrow is going to be a much, much, uh, a much more elaborate day for us, I guess. I don't know how to really word it. I'm sorry. Um, because we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be interacting with the villagers more, and we're going to be meeting a few more characters and actually go catch some bugs and possibly fish. Sorry to intrude, Mayor. Ooh, someone's coming to visit me. Oh, it's Isabel. Wow, so exciting. It's like you're camping, right? <laughs> oh, I love camping. Everyone would be worked up. We'd roast marshmallows and make popcorn over the fire. We'd always burn the popcorn a bit. And you know something? That's what made it extra delicious. Now I want to go camping and, and like mar uh, roast marshmallows and popcorn and stuff. So she hands me a lantern. Um, and we're going to have to place it in the tent. So she's telling me how to place it. And I'm going to place it. And we're going to make this awesome. This is the first gift. And we're going to put it here. And we're going to... Oh, just like next, face the lantern and press A. And now we have light, which is very good. So, what else? Well, face the lantern. Um, okay, we can move it around and spin it and stuff. Okay, a little too bright outside the lantern right now. Um, if you don't need the lights on, just press A and turn it off. Um, we don't have windows in the tent, so it is kind of dark. Well, that's all from me. Um, sorry to barge in on like this. I'll be taking my leave now. Okay. Next time on Animal Crossing New Leaf. Well, we will start... I don't know, getting our town together. We will be visiting more residents tomorrow and getting to know them. Uh, I can't wait to get to know Savannah, because I think that's going to be awesome. Um, but uh, like I said, guys, we're going to be looking for ideas for town tunes and for town flags. Um, but hey, guys, stay safe, stay classy, and as always, later. <laughs>